What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're in the virtual reality world of the HTC Vive and we're in a new game called Dead Secret. It came out last Thursday um, but uh, they sent me a key and it has uh, desktop support and Vive support so if you don't want to if you don't have the Vive you can by all means check it out. This is a murder mystery horror kind of uh, video game set in rural Kansas in 1965. <laughs> Shut up crow. But right now I'm just wearing the headset. I have a controller here as well to move us and groove us through what we need to do. So let's go ahead and we shall start if I can. Did I do this right? Am I am I am I doing everything? Aha, there we go. <laughs> I had to like lift my visor up here real quick. I feel like Jordy LaForge, only he couldn't take his visor off. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll start it off. Where are you going there, bird? Oh, it's getting dark. If the audio is a little weird... Oh, okay. Normal. Comfortable for most people. Choose a comfort mode. Sensitive. Designed for people who are... Uh, people extra sensitive to virtual motion. I think I'll be okay. September 25th, Harris Bullard was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. Okay. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman, she looks mean. Bobby Sawyer. I'm not leaving until I find out what happened. Oh, hey, we're a lady. <laughs> hey. Get out of town. It's a virtual... Oh, a small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. Huh. This drawer is missing its knob. I can't open it. What about you? It's a small key. Small key. Objective. Investigate the crime scene. Uh, okay. An old piano. It's blocking the way. Lift this. I can't lift this stuff with one arm, even using the hand truck. Okay. Oh, so, oh, we have a broken arm? That's not good, bro. That's not cool. Tell you what, man, this is actually pretty nifty. Let's go ahead and we'll spin around here. This is it, the crime scene. Ooh. Um... We're in rural Kansas, but it has a lot of Japanese writing on it. Or Chinese writing. I'm not sure. But, uh... <laughs> okay. The small key unlocked the door. Alright. It's a good thing we got that. If this is made by, like, the Japanese or something, man, this is gonna be weird. This is where Bobby Sawyer found Bullard's body. He'd been dead for a couple of days, though. A kabuki mess. What was that flying outside? Hello? What are you? You got globes spinning around. Oh, those are just leaves flying outside. Just a regular lamp? It says you. I've never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot marked with an X on it. Map. Yeah, where, where's it at? Looks like it's in here. symbol on it. Underneath it reads north. North, south. Looks like that could be north. What about here? Joe, something is after me. It's creeping around the house trying to get in. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure of it. I've heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the, I 
idea of focal lenses from their normal location and putting them in my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, I mar X marks a spot. P.S. The sequence is west, east, north. West, east, west, east, north. What's this? It looks like a tiny camera lens. Ooh, a circular lens. Ooh, nothing in there. This is weird how I can see my body a little bit, and I'm a lady, and I'm like, ugh. I'm seeing a lot of boob shots. Uh, Harris Bullard, I am, I am woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It is over. Dun 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 dun. What's this? Who is woodcutter? I don't know. It's a stupid name. Threatening Bullard. I'm the. Hello, I'm the woodcutter. I'm here to cut the wood. I'll go right ahead. A pair of scissors. I can use these to open that package in the other room. Oh, okay. Is there anything over here first? Ooh. The Snow Woman, adapted from the original translation by Lafcadio La Hearn. An old man and his son climbed a mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily, and unable to make it back home, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. When she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, so I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. She took a shine to him. She liked him. She was like, hey, what's up? Wanna, wanna, wanna say hi to each other? Doesn't turn on, guess it's broken. Burr, burr, burr. What's in here? A book! Ooh, it's another lens. I found two of them now. Circular lens. How about you? Let's go do anything in there. I'm actually sitting in my chair. I'm not doing the full like standing experience. This room is regular library. Some of these volumes look ancient. It's all covered in dust. Oh. It's a record player. There's no record inside. Boo. There is a lot of Asian drawings. This guy must have been really into some uh, some of the. Ooh, there's something in there. I see you I'm trying to hide stuff, I'm trying to be sneaky. There's a page from a manuscript in here. The man who could see with his skin. In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandage, yet he remained aware of the room around him. He held up signs which he read and fingers which he counted, even when he, uh, even when we stood behind him. After the poor, uh, performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face. The subtle motion of the hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he had developed the blah, 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 ability to form a mental image of his surrounding based only on these slight sensations. This man had achieved a form of idiofocus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved that to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, I am very close. Newspaper clipping here, it says, Eyeless Joe found dead in hotel. Weird. Something about this painting makes me uncomfortable. It's very bleak. It's very sad. Alright, let's go open that package that's outside there. This is going to be one of those games where there's going to be like jump scares and crap, and I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> it's not even how... Ah! Jesus! What was that about? <laughs> Just easy to have some, some sort of evidence. What was that about? Oh, oh, come on! It's addressed to Jay Herrera and was sent from Downtown Grove. Okay, the parcel is tied up tight. I need something to cut it with. Yeah, I got something to cut it with. Did I not cut this? Okay, at the square button. It's an old book and says quite on. On the cover, whatever that means, the author is Lafcadio Hearn. Right. Old book. Man, mirrors, dude. For real. Reclusive professor found dead in home. 
Harris Bullard, a retired college teacher, was found dead in his home Monday. The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part-time from Bullard running odd jobs. A police investigation has concluded that Bullard died of natural causes. He was 63. Bullard moved into his home on a ramp away several years ago, but was barely seen out and about, rarely seen about town. He was a private and reclusive man who seemed to have few friends. Bullard raised eyebrows last year when a former student, a pretty young woman named Josie Herrera, moved in with him. Bullard's will, written in 1957, leaves his entire estate to his ex-wife, Cynthia Peckman. Peckman will reportedly sell the house and its contents immediately. Harris was a genius in his discipline, said Graham Wellington, a former colleague. The field of neuroscience is considerably poor without him. Retired recluse found dead in study. Police ruled death natural. Ran errands for Bullard, found the body. Bullard's live-in assistant, a.k.a. mistress, ex-wife, interior uh, inheritor of Bullard's estate former colleague of Bullard what's up with the kabuki who's the who's the kabuki broad who is the kabuki broad that's ridiculous that was silly <laughs> damn it Bobby all right hey I feel really weird walking over that. That's weird. I could have sworn the TV was off before. Uh, it's because it was. This is... Whoa, whoa. Something's typed out here, but the paper is so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. I'm not tearing it. Guess I'll have to roll it back out. Yeah, you will. Go ahead and roll it out. Roll out. Dun, dun, dun. Got it. All right. Writing about Ouija boards. Ah, that's the reason why we got Kabuki people in here. But the Ouija boards. You don't mess with Ouija boards, kids. Ouija boards in 1852. William Benjamin Carpenter was the first to describe the phenomenon known as the ideometer, ideomotor effect. The ideomotor effect occurs when the subconscious mind takes control of the body without the conscious mind realizing it. Ideomotor action is distinct from other forms of involuntary action because responses are driven by existing knowledge and perception. The Ouija board, Carpenter suggested, is a clear manifestation. The participants unwittingly move the planchette because their subconscious mind is guiding them. Another example of this phenomenon is dousing the, pra uh, dousing, yeah, the practice of using a divining rod to locate water or other materials buried underground. The dowser holds the instrument in both hands and allows it to lead him forward until it points down at the ground, seemingly by itself. For centuries, dowsing was believed to be a form of magic or witchcraft, but we now know that it can be explained by the ideometer effect. Ideomotor effect? Ideomotor. The dowser's subconscious mind is highly sensitive and is able to recognize cues in the environment of which his conscious mind too much reading is not aware. When these cues hint at the location of water, the subconscious mind takes control of the dowser's hands and causes him to rotate the rod to the ground. Since the conscious mind, geez, is not involved in the operation, the instrument seems to move on its own, pulled as if by some magical force. In reality, it is the dowser himself who is divining his subconscious mind and responsible both of the, 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 the mind search region is the idiofocus. We've got the idiofocus. We get the idiofocus. Gotta get that. Gotta get that idiofocus. Folks, I'm actually going to cut it off here because I'm realizing that this is a game that we can actually do with the green screen camera. And then you can get my reactions because <laughs> that was a little creepy. Uh, a little weird. And I was terrified there. It kind of feels like they are looking at me. What did they see in this room? They saw someone die. That's pretty messed up. So, folks, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, and you want to see more of the uh, webcam of me in a visor being terrified out of my brain, then by all means, please be familiar. Okay. Let's put the old book in here. Ah, I can't push the book all the way back. It feels like there's hit. it's hitting something, huh? No, no. Hold on. Okay. Aha! So here's a books by the Lafcadio Hearn about Japan. So, I'm going to leave it off here. We got the piece to go to that. 
And if you want to see this, I'm thinking about maybe seeing what's up in the live stream. This is kind of cool, but I'd rather kind of do it in a on the desktop version because it's a lot easier for me to see and interact with. Maybe we can do a live stream on this. I think that would be pretty cool. It's scary, guys. It's scary. You can see me get creeped out. <laughs> I get terrified of this stuff. So, folks, like I said, if you want to see more, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more daily gaming content. And we will mess around with this on a live stream. That is for sure. And uh, we'll get after it. It's pretty cool in VR, but uh, it feels odd because I want to be able to talk to you and uh, and see what I'm, I'm kind of doing around me. Because it's, it's pretty, it is, it is pretty good. It's a very immersive environment. Um... And terrifying all at the same time. So, folks, everyone have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, life, shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Dead Secret next time. I feel really, really awkward right now. The coroner ruled that Bullard died from a pancreatic failure. Huh? Died from being freaked out by some kabuki. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>